Okay, in this video I'm going to try to demonstrate how to use Wi-Fi file transfer. It's a pretty simple program that you can install on your Android phone. This is for Androids. I'm sure they have something similar for an iPhone. But anyway, when you install it and start it, you're going to uh, come up with this screen. And obviously you click start. And then you go to this screen. It tells you you can now access the files on your Android device by typing the following address in your computer's browser. And it gives that address, 192.168.1.29. Dot one two three four. <clears throat> <clears throat> the server will run in the background until you press the stop button and you click OK and you go to this screen which basically gives you the option to stop the service and until you do that it's going to keep running. So you type this URL into your browser and we'll do that now to demonstrate that. Uh, 192.168.29.1 colon 1234 the 1234 is actually a port number so it tells it to go to that exact port number it's better than just having port 80 because it's a little more secure so when your uh, browser goes to that address uh, now on some of your uh, let me go back to that screen on some of your browsers like if you're on a Windows computer and you have Internet Explorer running you're probably going to have to type in the HTTP colon slash slash and then the 192.168.1.29.123. Now that number is going to vary. It's going to be different for every network you're on. Uh, so, you know, you have to type in just what they give you. But on most of your Linux computers with Firefox you're, or most of our modern browsers we have, you know, you can just use the address and it already knows it's the HTTP protocol. So here's what you see. <clears throat> now at this point, we're just in the root directory of the phone, and these files are probably <clears throat> of no interest to you. Excuse me. <coughs> so uh, you can go to internal storage, and you're going to find, you know, some of the files that you've created, like your images and stuff like that, that you may actually be interested in using. Um, so when you're looking for images it's usually going to be DCIM so if you click there it's going to open that directory and you're going to see the files that are in that directory which uh, it's really another directory which is camera once you click on that it's going to go into the cameras saved images and here you have it you've got a bunch of images if you click on one you're going to see it and um, that's that it's going to show you that image and uh, um, that's what you're going to see. But if you want to download that image, you can right click on it and uh, tell it to uh, save link as, and you'll save it to your direct to your hard drive. Um, now, this is pretty useful, I think. If you click on last modified, it's going to show the, the oldest files first. And if you click on last modified again, it's going to show the newest files first. That to me is the most um, is the best way because that way you're going to see the last picture. You're usually looking for the last picture you took or the last couple of pictures you took, and you're going to have all your pictures and videos. As you see, this one here is a video. You see, so um, any of these images you want to. Um, you want to download you just click on it and you can download it or view it uh, you can click here and it's going to select the whole batch you could click download now and it's going to download all of them <clears throat> uh, and that's that's that you're going to have them all uh, you can also delete them let's see if, if you uh, click one of these I think this one I probably may want to delete I think that's probably a mistake it's an easy way to find some of your images that you really wanted to delete, and obviously this was some kind of a mistake. So uh, I can I can choose to delete that. If I click up here for delete, it's going to delete whichever file that is for me. See, so and you can you can also make this a a little bit larger by Control Plus a few times, which is going to give you a little more ability to see what you're doing 
So as you can see, I want to delete this file. So I'm just going to click right there. I selected one single file, and I click on delete, and it's going to be gone. Uh, well, it asks you if you really want to delete it, and you go, yeah, and then it says, okay, please wait, and it deletes it. But now if I had selected a whole bunch of them at once, I could have gone through there and picked about 10 or 15 images I wanted to delete, and I could delete them. So uh, just for the heck of it, if I wanted to save this, I click on right-click on it, save link as, and it's going to ask me where I want to put it. And so in this case, uh, maybe not downloads, I want to go to pictures, since it's a picture. So I'll uh, save it, and there it goes. I'll save it to my pictures. And I could have renamed it as well, some user-friendly name. So that's how that works. Now then, if, if I were to, I'm, so you can click here and go to the parent directory. You go up one level. Now you can also go back to these, uh, you know, to these um, uh, links here, which goes to eternal storage. This one goes to music, apparently. So you can click on music, and it should bring you into your directory full of music. And uh, you know, a lot of us play our music from the phone. Just put our, put our earphones on. And see, right now I've only got this one file. I've got my external storage disconnected, but just for demonstration purposes, let's say I want to transfer for files to my Android device. So I click over here on this side where it says transfer files. So select files. Instead of a folder, I'm going to select files. Okay? And it's going to go to the files that I wanted to upload. So in this case, I'm going to go to my home directory. I'll go to music. This is my laptop. I've got a few. <coughs> so I can select all of them and uh, click OK. And uh, it's going to transfer those files to the computer. I mean, to the phone, rather, from the computer to the file, phone. And see, now it's, it's got all this list of files, and I'll click on Start Upload, and it's going to upload. Let me make this a little bit smaller so we can see it better. But it's going to uh, upload all of those files if I click right here and uh, tell it to go ahead and start. It's going to do it for me. So, there it goes. You see the progress? It's showing you that it's downloading each individual file, and you'll see them showing up over here when it's done. So um, that's the way you transfer files to <coughs> the phone. And then I'll have a nice big uh, list of, I mean, this could have been 50 or 100 or 200 um, um, songs that I've transferred to, to the phone. So, uh, and, and if I want to delete these files, Again, all I do, I can collect. I'm just doing this for experimental purposes, so I'm going to click there. I'm going to delete all of them. I'll delete my whole playlist, and I can create another one at another time. So that's that's how it works. Now, I, I did that because I've used my SD card for music. I put lots of music files on my SD card and go from there. But you can, you know, you can go to the SD card as well. See, if I click on storage, it's going to go back to the... Uh, to you know, up to the level where I can find my external SD card, and I would click there, and there's where I would probably put my music. I would click on that, and then go to my music directory there, and then I would uh, I would upload a bunch of uh, music files. So you you know you have to to navigate and find where you want to put things and where you want to download things from, but it's pretty user friendly I think you know. so um, that's the way Wi-Fi wi file transfer works and um, um, I mean there are other ways to do it I'm not really advocating this one particular program I think it works well for me uh, it may work just fine for you or maybe you have a better way you can always plug in a USB cable to your phone and uh, if you have the the uh, MTP file system uh, applications on your computers, which a lot of them already have it on there. It's just going to come up and show you the files, and you can do it that way, too. Uh, I find this, to me, a, a, a pretty easy way to do it, so I like doing it this way. 
and so I've installed the program thought I'd show you how it works so uh, you know there are other ways you can pull out the SD card stick it in your in your external SD card stick it in your laptop and download the files to it direct that way and stick it back in your phone but you know to me I just like doing it this way oh obviously you have to have your phone connected to your local network and your laptop connected to your local network or whatever computer you're using and then it'll, it'll work if you're on the same network so anyway i thought i'd uh, show you how to do this i uh, hope this uh, helps and uh, thanks for watching